Well, thank you very much, everyone. It's great to be with my friend Boris Johnson. He just got a position that he's having a very easy time with. It's much easier than he thought. I was just saying, is it tougher or easier? He said, well, it's, I guess, what he expected. I think it's pretty much what you expected. It is. And he's doing a fantastic job, not easy, and uh, but doing a really good job. And I think he's going to make great progress come October, come November. Uh, but great progress for the country in October, long term. October, uh, October the 31st. The results, are going to be, the results are going to start to show in November. But uh, it looks to me like uh, he is making great progress. So it's an honor to have you here. We're going to be discussing trade. Uh, we can uh, quadruple our trade with UK and, and uh, we can, I think, really do a big job. Bob Lighthizer is here, our trade representative. Your trade representative is here. And they're already scheduled today to continue negotiations. But we can have substantially more trade with UK. And we look forward to doing that. So uh, we'll talk about other things also. It's great to have you, Boris. Don, thank you very much. It's great, great to, to be here. And I certainly hope that we can make a lot of progress quite fast on trade. We've got our Secretary of State for International Trade, Liz right. Truss, is, is here. And we, we hope to, to get going on, on that, always remembering that the NHS is not for, <laughs> for sale. Uh, but uh, everything else, we can, there's, a, there's a huge amount we can, we can do. And I guess we'll also talk a bit about Iran and uh, some of those difficult issues where uh, I think we, we share a common uh, perspective right. and uh, we want to dial things down but also make sure that uh, people in the Gulf don't get the wrong idea right. about what they can, they can get away with. That, that's a complicated issue. But we hope to make progress there as well. We'll be talking about many things and uh, we look forward to it and uh, we'll start in just a minute. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Johnson, the, the, some of your critics are saying that you should resign because you misled the Queen with yeah. regard to shutting Parliament down. How do you respond to that? Well, I, as I said earlier on, thank you very much. Well, as I said earlier on, uh, let's be absolutely clear. Uh, we respect the judiciary in our country. We respect the, uh, the court. Uh, I, I disagree profoundly. Uh, with what they had to say. I think it was entirely right to uh, go ahead with a plan for a Queen's speech. This is, a, 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 this is the longest period. We haven't had a Queen's speech for, uh, for 400 years. We've got a dynamic uh, domestic agenda we need to be getting on with. Uh, more police on the streets, investment in our national health service, uh, improving our education. We need to get on uh, with that. And frankly, I think we need to get on with Brexit, that's the overwhelming view of the British people, uh, whether they voted to leave or, or remain, they want to get this thing done by October the 31st, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Mr. President. That was a very nasty question from a great American reporter. I was, that, no, <laughs> was, was, I, was that an American that's reporter? An American yeah, reporter. That's a very nice one. I, I, I think a good he, one. But I, I think he was asking a question, to be fair, that a lot of British reporters would have asked. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, now that we have that I, I think, out of the I think, way, I think, he's not, I'll tell you, I know him well. He's not going anywhere. Don't no, worry yeah. about him. Okay, Mr. go ahead. President, Any other questions? Mr. President, 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 no, I think he's dealing very well. Everything I see uh, is what, uh, look, I watch it very closely. He's a friend of mine. I tend to watch friends closer than enemies, but the enemies you have to watch in a different way. I think he's doing very well. It's a complicated subject, but uh, they took a vote, and the vote was, I was there. I happened to be there the day of that Were you vote. Down the vote? I yeah. made a prediction even. I even made a prediction. Yeah. It was a correct prediction. And, you know, that was a long time ago, and it takes a man like this to get it done. And they have to get it done, otherwise... It would be a terrible thing to do it any other way. I don't see another vote. I don't see anything happening. I think he's going to get it done. Do you think he will? Mr. Mr. President, what was your reaction when you heard the uh, UK Supreme Court decision? What was your reaction? Uh, I had no reaction. I, I just asked Boris, and, you know, to him it's another day in the office. He's a professional. It's just another day in the office. Yeah, well, it's, it's tomorrow's another day in Parliament. That's what that's what. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had, we had uh, Boris, the first uh, couple of months, we had been, I think we were 0 for 7 with the Supreme Court. And since then, we won the wall, we won asylum, we won some of the biggest ones. We've had a great streak going. Uh, but uh, we, we started off, we were 0 for 7, and then, as you will... Report. In fact, the first time we won, you were like shocked that we won. And since then, we've almost uh, run the table. We've won a lot of decisions. So uh, I'm sure that's going to happen to you. Well, well, I, well we're not counting our chickens, and we're, we're full of respect, as I say, for the, the justices of our, <laughs> our Supreme Court. But uh, we're going we're gonna to push on. With, we're going to respect what the court had to say, but we're going to get on and, 
and deliver Brexit. That's the, I think that's what the British people want. In other words, he's been very nice to the court, please. Okay. Mr. He, has, he has total respect for the court. Yeah, Jim. Mr. President, on a separate subject, can you explain why aid to Ukraine was stopped? Because I think that other countries should be paying also. Why is the United States the only one paying to Ukraine? And I've been talking about this for a long time, not only with respect to Ukraine, but a lot of other countries. But frankly, why isn't Germany, I just met with the Chancellor, why isn't Germany, why isn't France, why aren't these other countries paying payment? Why are we paying all the time? And nobody's given, I believe, more to Ukraine. You know, President Obama used to send pillows and sheets. I said anti-tank weapons and a lot of things to Ukraine. Uh, we think that it's very important. And both, by the way, I don't know if you know it or not, that payment was made. But I wanted to get other countries. Other countries should also pay because, frankly, it affects them more. I mean, that's a barrier, that's a wall between Russia and the UK, and they don't pay, and why are they not paying? Why is it always the United States that pay, that's paying? And I made that loud and clear. I told that to Mick Mulvaney. I told it to a lot of people. Where's Mick? Wherever he is. Uh, I told it to a lot of different people. I told it to Mike. I told it to two Mikes. I told it to yes. Steve. I keep asking the same. I said it to Wilbur Ross. I keep asking the same question. Why is it that the United States is always paying these foreign countries and other foreign countries that, frankly, are much great, much more affected, they're not. So I said, hold it up, let's get other people to pay, and then everybody called me, oh, please, can we pay? And I said, and there was never any quid pro quo. The letter was beautiful. It was a perfect letter. Uh, it was unlike Biden, who, by the way, what he said was a horror. And ask how his son made millions of dollars from Ukraine, made millions of dollars from China, even though he had no expertise whatsoever, okay? So what he did was a real problem. With us, uh, there was no pressure applied, no nothing. Okay, folks, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.